Hi, dear students. Welcome back to Computer Science class. We have completed our third chapter, Conditional and Looping Constructs, and seen various topics like planning tools, uh, pseudocode, flowchart, decision tree, algorithm, then uh, decision making statements like simple if, uh, if else, if elif else, and nested if else structure. And uh, uh, then we have seen uh, looping constructs or repetitions or iterations like for and uh, while loops. Then uh, finally, uh, gem statements like uh, break, continue, and pass. And uh, this is, uh, of course, a very important chapter as uh, the, the main logic, the core logic of uh, programming uh, lies here with uh, conditional looping constructs because uh, we have uh, broken uh, the normal uh, sequential execution of programming and uh, we have uh, redirected uh, the control to some other parts using uh, uh, what sim if else structures or uh, we can say for and while loops, right? Yes. So now it's time to look at our uh, next chapter, fourth chapter in plus one, strings in Python. You know, we have already uh, heard of uh, strings, the concept of uh, strings, and it is one of the most commonly used data types in any programming language, okay? Here it is, uh, specifically it is string. Of course, um, uh, when it comes to your mind, first time uh, we'll be thinking of uh, strings of uh, guitar, violin, all those things, right? <laughs> but this is not uh, this kind of a string, okay? It's, it's a programming string, okay, yes. So, these are the highlights of uh, this chapter. Uh, what are strings? We'll be looking at what are strings, creating strings, traversing strings. Then uh, we'll be looking at special uh, string operators, uh, operators which are working uh, with strings, concatenation, replication, membership operators, comparison operators, and slicing. Then uh, we'll be looking at uh, strings are immutable, unchangeable. Then uh, string built-in functions. There are a number of uh, functions which are already available with strings or uh, working with strings. Then state and transition. That's the final topic. So we'll be looking at all these topics in detail. Moving on. Uh, as we have already seen or we have already worked with different type of data like integer data, uh, character data, string data, then floating data. And there are a lot of uh, data or uh, types of data we have uh, done with and strings is one of the most commonly used data types in python or in any programming language okay and uh, let's look at a program let's have a program here you can see uh, print enter your name name equal to input print hello plus name here is the output okay enter your name we, we are inputting arjun then it prints hello arjun okay yes so explaining this print enter your name you know print is a built-in function in python that uh, prints something so enter your name we can say enter your name itself is a string. You know what actually a string is, right? String is a group of characters. Uh, characters in the sense we can have uh, uh, alphabets, numbers or special characters, right? Yes, so string is a collection of characters or group of characters. For example, very simple example, your name Arjun. Arjun is a, is a string, right? Arjun is a string, A-R-J-U-N, all are characters. Then Arjun 1 is also a string, right? Then Arjun Ram, Arjun space Ram, it's another string, right? So uh, special characters are also allowed in a string. Special characters as well as uh, what numbers or digits are also allowed here in a, a string. So that's what actually string is. So enter your name itself is a string. We can say enter your name is itself is a string. Okay, yes. Then name equal to input. You know what actually name is? Name is a variable and input is a function that takes uh, input from the user and of course input function takes anything or everything as a string. We know that, right? If you want to work with integer value, you have to use int of, right? Or you have to evaluate it to integer type. But by default, input function takes everything as a string. Yes, okay? So here it is input, uh, it's, a, it's a blank function, okay? So uh, whatever we input, here we input Arjun, right? So Arjun will be assigned to name. So name whole Arjun. Then print hello, you know, hello is also a string, right? Hello, H-E-L-L-O is also a string. That is, it's, it's enclosed in quotes. So it, it can be treated as a string. So it's a string, right? Okay. Then plus name, plus name, it's a concatenation. You know what concatenation is? Joining, joining two strings. So uh, here in the result, it will be hello name. That means we have already stored Arjun in name. So it will be hello Arjun. Okay, hello Arjun. That will be the result. We don't, will not have any space in between. Okay, yes. So this 
is a very simple example working with string the concept of string okay so hope you get the concept string is a group of characters and we can have not only uh, alphabets we can have uh, alphabets both in uppercase and lowercase of course then numbers are also permissible okay then uh, special characters like uh, we can say space okay all, all these are allowed okay yes so this is a very simple example explaining uh, string okay yes then uh, moving on string where it's, it's a variable holding characters or alphabets inside quotes we can say uh, it's a variable string variable hold characters or alphabets inside quotes okay yes you can see hello hello is a string it's in quotes yeah then uh, we have another string uh, python p i t h o n and you can see 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay actually here 0 1 2 3 4 5 these are called index okay or indices yeah zero index starts with zero ends with n minus one okay here we know uh, the size or the length of python is one two three four five six right we have six characters in or six alphabets in python the string python and the index we can say what do you mean be index just like page number right page number okay yes so uh, real time uh, in our textbook the page number starts with one but uh, here in programming or in python programming we can say it starts with zero so the final value will be n minus one n means the length here the length is six so the final index the last index will be n minus one that is six minus one that will be five right okay so zero one two three four five the very logic is uh, index or the page number or the location number okay starts with zero ends with n minus one that's it okay yes moving on what are strings you don't have to think like some okay it's a very simple concept yes it's a consecutive sequence of characters which are enclosed or surrounded by single or double quotes is known as a string right this is the definition exact definition of string it's a consecutive sequence of characters it's a consecutive sequence of characters which are enclosed or surrounded by single quotes or double quotes we know python cannot distinguish single quotes and double quotes okay yes both are treated as same is known as a string and characters it's a generalized term we can split it we can uh, explain characters as it can be a letter or it may be a letter a b c d both in uppercase and lowercase number one two three four special characters of or a backslash not of okay or a backslash okay so in a string we can have letter number special characters or backslash okay single quotes the same as double quotes of course we know that then triple quotes are used for uh, strings that span multiple lines uh, we use triple quotes just to span or just to divide uh, what uh, the entire text in multiple lines okay if we need uh, strings to be placed in multiple lines we are using triple quotes so this is what actually a string is it's a group of characters uh, surrounded by or enclosed in uh, double quotes or single quotes it can be characters can be letter number special character backslash then triple quotes are used to uh, divide or to split okay uh, the string the entire uh, string into multiple lines yes moving on creating strings that's the next topic and of course we know strings are the most popular data types in python data type in python okay it is one of the most popular data types in python programming because uh, we know uh, we have already uh, seen uh, the application of uh, strings uh, suppose uh, at the okay uh, when we um, uh, consider uh, when we take a uh, report card as a as a program or uh, as an example we can see uh, your name first right your name arjun it's a string then your class plus one a it's another string right then your address is a string yes okay these are some of the strings okay so, so some of the string data types so these are uh, the most popular data type in any programming language not not, not only in python in every programming language uh, strings are the most commonly used and the most popular data type okay yes then uh, we have uh, another example a equal to good morning okay a equal to good morning good morning in uh, double quotes we enclosed uh, good morning in double quotes so what actually happens is good morning is a string right you can see good morning two words separated by space we have a space in between good and morning so space is also allowed right yes so it's a string and we assign the string to a a is a variable so a is a variable of what type string type right yes then uh, we are printing it uh, a good morning will be printed which will be in uh, single quotes okay 
so no okay here in python we we don't have any character directed no character directed treated as string of length 1 a string of length 1 okay that means um, in in c++ we have a, a type called char right yes but here in python we don't have a type called character we don't have uh, no type right yes the the very logic is we don't have any any type and whatever we assign to the variable that will be directed the type of value that variable hold right yes holds yeah then uh, here in python uh, there there is uh, no character directed okay uh, if if we just uh, give uh, a the character a it will be a it will be a string of length 1 okay when we place a in single quotes and assign it to a variable a will be a string of length 1 that's it okay yeah then uh, okay good morning we print the same okay good morning okay here we have enclosed in double quotes here we can see we have enclosed good morning in single quotes you can see the result both work same right yes both prints good morning okay so that means string can be enclosed either in double quotes or in single quotes that's it both work same okay yeah moving on next one is inserting quotes in a string inserting quotes in a string actually uh, we enclose uh, string in quotes uh, here the meaning is not uh, uh, that uh, kind of insertion okay it's another uh, what uh, quotes in a string okay quotes in a string at the time of printing right yes so here it is uh, empty string okay we have a uh, string without any characters inside having length zero that's what empty string is empty string is a string uh, that does not have any uh, value right yes so string without any characters inside having length zero you can see str equal to uh, double quotes that's it then print str which prints nothing okay then another one uh, str equal to uh, simply single quotes then print str which also prints nothing so blank space displayed that means uh, we have nothing inside the string so it prints blank space that indicates empty string okay empty string is a string without any value so when we try to print uh, which prints nothing blank space will be printed and it can be uh, represented using uh, either using double quotes or using single quotes okay yeah then uh, here is the main concept inserting quotes in a string uh, you can see uh, a equal to write article on ai briefly you can see ai is given in backslash okay then uh, quotes in double quotes so uh, it's like uh, backslash then double quote starts then uh, we write the string here it is ai then we close the backslash then double quotes closing okay this is the exact representation of uh, inserting quotes in a string okay within a string yeah then briefly okay then we have uh, closed uh, the double quotes so uh, then we try to print it uh, print a uh, write article on ai briefly that's it hope you get the concept inserting quotes in a string within a string okay yes of course we know uh, strings must be en enclosed uh, in single quotes or double quotes but here the concept is not this uh, the concept is uh, we enclose what it's not enclosing the, uh, enclosing the string okay it is adding or inserting quotes in a string okay yeah then okay um, you know uh, write article on a briefly so it will be uh, and uh, what um, a will be in quotes okay that's it yeah then uh, we have another example c equal to this is mira's pen okay yes here we are adding what single quote okay yeah uh, here in uh, the first example we have added a double quotes and in the second example we are adding single quotes so this is mira then backslash uh, single quotes s pen okay then print c it will be it, it prints what this is mira's pen okay so this is how we can insert uh, double quotes and single quotes okay double quotes and single quotes and the main character the special character used here uh, to insert the quotes in a string is what backslash right backslash okay yeah hope you get the concept moving on yeah we have uh, another example okay a equal to here is a line slash split in two lines but it will not split in two lines okay it's just a slash that's it just a slash in the sense uh, at the time of uh, inputting we can uh, input in multiple lines that's it otherwise it shows error right yes here is a line uh, here is a line then if suppose uh, we don't have any backs uh, slash after line and we try to press enter it will be showing error right yes okay so if you want to represent in the input if you want to represent your strings in multiple lines in the input okay in the input not the output 
in the input we use backslash okay then print a uh, it prints here is a line split in two lines okay but actually it's not in two lines then output in the same line okay you can see output in the same line right so output in the same line means uh, here is a line then slash split in two lines uh, prints the output in the same line then if you want to print the string in multiple lines multiple lines we have to use slash m okay instead of using slash we have to use slash m so here is example c equal to we are indians slash m and we love our country okay we have placed slash m just after indians so we are indians will be printed in the first line and we love our country will be printed in the second line that's it okay you can see print c we are in indians will be printed in the first line and we love our country in the second line so slash m is used to print the output in multiple lines okay hope you get it here in the first example we have simply placed slash for the input okay so it will not uh, it will not make any change in the output but if you want to uh, split uh, your string or strings in multiple lines we have to use slash m okay yeah so another one is slash t you know what actually slash t is slash t stands for tab space okay a equal to name slash t class slash t section print a you can see a tab space after name then after class also you can see okay name then after tab space class will be printed and we have another slash t so uh, section will be printed after a tab space okay so these are the applications of uh, slash n and slash t slash n is used to print output in multiple lines then slash t used to add tab okay yes moving on uh, multiple or multi line strings okay multi line strings okay here, here you from the image you can see it's placed in multiple lines okay multi line you know mm, multi line uh, we using triple quotes right triple quotes okay represent by triple quotes uh, s equal to this is a multi line string example so it's enclosed in it's enclosed in what triple quotes okay yeah so uh, the meaning is single quotes and double quotes are uh, taken uh, same okay uh, python cannot distinguish single quotes and double quotes but uh, triple quotes uh, are uh, specifically uh, here in the case of string we can say specifically used to uh, make multi line strings okay yes so uh, s equal to triple quote starting this is a then a multi line string in second line and example in third line and finally we are closing triple quotes okay then we are printing it print s so this is a will be print in the first line multi line string will be in the second line and example in the third line okay yes uh, it's it's a substitute for slash n, right it's a substitute for slash n, but we don't have to play slash n. Uh, here it's uh, it, it's going to be simple because uh, we just have to uh, enclose uh, our string or uh, multi line strings in the or triple quotes that's it okay yes so this way we can uh, work with multi line strings using triple quotes okay yeah then another operation is traversal you know what actually traversal is traversal means visiting right uh, from the image you can see uh, uh, the uh, general uh, army general is uh, visiting cadets one by one okay soldiers one by one that's what actually traversing is uh, he'll be looking at each one by one okay yes the same way here in the case of uh, python programming or in programming traversal means visiting each element one after other that's what traversal is okay traversal operation defined can be defined as visiting each element one after other okay yes accessing all the elements of the string one after the other by using subscript or index okay you know the concept of index subscript is another terminology for index okay subscript or index and we have an example str equal to hello world h e l l o space w o r l d then you can see an exclamation okay yeah so uh, what will be the index of h it will be zero then e1 l2 second l3 o4 then space it will be 5 okay yes so we know index or subscript uh, starts with 0 ends with n minus 1 okay that means length minus 1 okay yes so here the uh, the, the length of uh, hello world is 12 and the last index will be 11 okay yeah index starts at 0 uh, and an integer value of course uh, index will be an integer value 0 1 2 3 okay then individual elements are accessed by typing index value inside uh, square brackets we'll be looking okay we'll be seeing it yeah then so this is what actually traversal operation is 
traversal means visiting each element one after other okay yeah then uh, we're using the concept of index or subscript to traverse through the string okay yes so index starts with zero ends with n minus one then if you want to access individual element for example if you want to access zero okay not zero sorry o h e l l o we have to use the index the index of this as well as str okay for example uh, let's consider uh, okay o okay so 0 1 2 3 4 4 will be the index of o so how can you access o it will be str of 4 okay str of 4 that is what o is then what will be uh, space str of 5 then what will be e str of 1 okay that's it hope you get it yeah then we have uh, an example here str equal to hello world then uh, print str of course it prints uh, hello world okay hello world yeah then print str of 0 this is what we have seen okay str of 0 str of 0 means the value located at the 0th index of str okay that is exact uh, statement okay so str of 0 means the value stored at the 0th index of str which is the value h right yes so h will be printed then print str of 4 what will be that o 0 1 2 3 4 so always placed at the fourth index of str okay then uh, minus 8 what is that minus value left index starts from 0 and right index starts from minus 1 okay minus 1 right index starts from minus 1 so str of uh, what ah, str of minus 8 prints l okay yes so uh, okay so this is how what uh, actually um, accessing or traversal works so uh, this way we can access okay elements str of 0 str of 4 str of minus 8 okay and uh, you have to note this str of minus 8 that is minus value uh, the right index starts from minus 1 the right index starts from minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 okay it goes like yeah so this will be the uh, working of traversal operation okay yeah. and we have uh, the next operation iteration iteration in the sense uh, repetition or uh, looping we can say looping and uh, we are working with loop okay yes each character can be accessed sequentially using for loop and we have an example here str equal to computer science uh, we know computer science is a string uh, two words separated uh, by uh, space okay and closed in single quotes it can be double quotes as well for i in str print i for i in str what will be the initial value for i it will be str of 0 that is c so c will be printed first you can see this then uh, print i okay c will be printed then it uh, automatical automatic advancement take, takes place and i points to o that is 1 right so the second index 1 then it prints 1 that is o and it goes on uh, till the last character e okay the last character e right yes so we know uh, in the case of for loop it's uh, completely uh, automatic advancement takes place right so i gets uh, zero first one okay okay yes zero one two three indices okay or index we can say yeah then it prints like this okay so these are the operations and uh, this is all for the time being and let's have a quick revision we have seen the first example we have already seen in uh, the previous chapter okay yes so a string is nothing but group of characters and we have the concept of index or subscript that uh, represents uh, the location the place where it's stored okay then uh, consecutive characters uh, sequence of characters uh, which can be letter number special character or backslash okay then double quotes or single quotes both work, both work same but triple quotes multi-line string okay creating string uh, we have seen uh, either enclosed in single quotes or double quotes most popular data type in python then inserting quotes okay uh, within the string yes we have uh, empty string of course uh, nothing inside blank space will be printed and uh, uh, double quotes uh, that means uh, inside okay ai uh, the special character we use is slash backslash right miras okay yes then uh, output in the same line and output in multiple lines using slash n and slash t then multi line using triple quotes then traversal visiting each element one after other then uh, we have seen examples both uh, zero uh, in left index and right index okay yes then uh, iteration operation uh, iteration means repetition or uh, looping uh, we, uh, the loop works everywhere right uh, uh, despite of uh, what 
the 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 diuretic right yes so uh, this is all uh, for the time being and uh, what you want to do is just uh, go practice okay so uh, thank you thank you for watching have a nice day see you in the next video take care